Hello, and welcome to this Intro to Exceptions course on Real Python. Because there's always something that can go wrong when you're experimenting while you're writing code, it's good if you have some tools to handle those exceptions that might occur. And in this course, you're going to walk over all the different keywords that are related to exceptions in Python, and you will learn how to use each of them at the hand of building out a little program. We'll start off by differentiating exceptions from syntax errors, so finding out what causes a syntax error and what is an exception. Then you will learn how to raise an exception yourself using the raise keyword. You will learn how to use the assert keyword to check for a true condition and then raise an exception if the true condition doesn't pass. Then you will learn the more familiar way of catching exceptions in Python, which is using the try except block that you've seen around in other Python code, and you'll learn how to use that. You will learn about the lesser known part of this try except block where you can follow it up with an else clause that only executes if no exception was raised. Then you will also get to know the built-in exceptions in Python, and I'll show you a list and we'll integrate it into the little program that you'll build throughout this course. And then finally, you will also get to know the finally keyword, which is, again, can be part of the try except block and can include a bit of code that's going to run no matter whether or not an exception was raised during the try except block. That's going to be it. And then there's a little summary at the end, like always in our courses. And by the end of it, you will know all this exception-related keywords in Python. You're going to have a bit of practice using them by building them out in a small program. And you will be better equipped to handle any sort of problems that might arise in your code and to write better Python code. So in the next lesson, you'll get started by learning the difference between what's a syntax error and what's an exception. In this lesson, you will learn how to differentiate between exceptions and syntax errors in Python. And to show an example, I will head over to VS Code. And I have a script open that I called main.py. And I'm just going to write a bit of code in here. And you will keep using this script throughout the course and then build a small program in there. So you can go ahead and create that file as well. Or just watch me for now, because I'm just going to demonstrate these two errors as a start. So what is a syntax error? A syntax error is when something goes wrong during parsing. So when Python is reading your code and doesn't know what to do with it. An uh, example for that would be that I'm trying to call print and I'm going to say 3 divided by 1. But then accidentally I make an additional parenthesis here. So this is the crucial additional leftover parenthesis. That's always a story with programmers where you just accidentally left something in there that's very small but completely breaks your program. And this is just because Python doesn't know what to do with it. It needs to interpret the code that you wrote. And so it's trying to, it has a couple of rules that it follows to interpret this during parsing. And in this case, it's looking at this bracket and looking for the corresponding opening bracket, but it can't find it. And so it doesn't know what to do with the rest of the code. It's just not valid Python code. And this is why it runs into a syntax error. So if I try to run this code by typing python main.py, you see that there's the syntax error coming up and Python just quits the run of this script because it doesn't know how to interpret this and tells you why. In this case, there's an unmatched parenthesis. You might not see such detailed error information because they were added in more recent versions of Python, but you will definitely see a syntax error and Python complaining that it doesn't know what to do with the code that you wrote. So this is one type of error that happens during parsing. Python doesn't even get to the point that it executes it because it doesn't understand what you wrote. Now, a different type of error are exceptions. And exceptions occur during execution. So I can write this code that is completely valid Python code. There's the right amount of brackets. There's integers. There's an operator. There's a function call. And this is all valid Python syntax. So Python can read this fine, and it can attempt to execute it. However, it's going to run into an error because you can't divide by zero. So this is an error that happens during execution. And these things is what we call exceptions. So let me show you this. If I run this file now, then Python throws a zero division error. And this is an exception, a built-in exception in Python that happens every time your program would attempt to divide a number by zero. 
which is just mathematically not allowed. So to recap, you have parsing errors, which is something's wrong with the syntax that you wrote, and Python throws a syntax error for those. And then you have errors during execution, and these are called exceptions, which is what this course is going to focus on. Problems during runtime when Python attempts to execute syntactically correct Python code. There's a lot of different built-in exceptions. Uh, you're going to get to know some of them. And there's different ways of handling it with keywords that are built into Python as well. And you're going to get started on that in the next lesson, where you will learn how to raise your own exception in the same way that Python raised this zero division error for you in this example. In Python, if you want your code to raise an exception, you can do that explicitly by using the raise keyword. That's a built-in keyword, and you can raise any sort of exception with this keyword. Let's take a look how you could do that inside of the script. I emptied it out, and now I'm just going to write the keyword and then an exception. So this is a built-in class in Python, and you can pass it a message, say, oops as the message to the exception. And now if I execute main.py, Python is going to raise this exception and display the message string over here. So let's do this, main.py. You can see that the exception is raised and the message is printed out to the console. So that's a way that you can raise exceptions in Python. And there's a lot of built-in exceptions that are subclassed to, this, to a base exception class. And you can take a look at those in the Python docs, and you'll also see some more of them when later on in the course we're going to raise a specific built-in exception. But for now, of course, it doesn't make much sense to really raise an exception as the only thing inside of your script. Usually you'd have some sort of a check that needs to be a certain way, and if it fails, then you want to raise an exception. So let's change the code a little to make it make a little more sense, and let's start building on this script that you will work throughout of this course, which is you want to build some code that runs specifically on only on a Linux system. And there is a way that you can check what platform your code is running on in Python with the sys module. So I'm going to import that. That's part of the standard library, so no need to install anything. And then you can print out sys.platform. And that's going to tell you what platform you're currently on. So now I execute this, and the output is Darwin, which means that I'm on a Mac OS system, because the base OS is the Darwin OS that this Mac OS is built on top of. So you can see that you can get OS-specific response here, and that means you can make a check for which platform is the code currently running on, and then raise an exception if it's not on a Linux system. You could do that like this. So you say, if not sys.platform starts with Linux, then you want to raise this exception. And because I am running this code on a macOS system, if I run it, you will see that the exception gets raised indeed. So Python checks what platform am I on? It sees it's uh, on Darwin, not on Linux. So this conditional statement executes and the exception gets raised. If I change this to Darwin, then the code would run without any problems. And just like any exception that Python raises for you, if you raise one by yourself, it means that any code that comes after will not execute anymore. So if I have this print statement sitting here after and I run it on a macOS system with the correct string in there, then you see that hello prints out. But now if I require it to be on a Linux system and otherwise I'm going to raise the exception, then the code following this is not going to print anymore because my program terminates at the exception. So for a scenario like this, where you wrote some code that only runs on a Linux system, you want to make sure that the execution stops actually if it's not run on a Linux system. And that's an example for where raising an exception makes a lot of sense. Now, something else I can show you here is that exception has a bunch of child classes that are built-in exceptions in Python. And you can also create your own. So you could write a class here that is the 
wrong OS error, for example. So I'm just giving it a name and inheriting from the exception class. And then I'm not even going to write any other code in here. Very often when you create your own custom exceptions, you just do this, which is essentially giving it a certain error and helping you with structuring your program in a better way. So now instead of raising the built-in exception object, I can raise the subclass of it that I just defined over here and maybe pass it a more helpful message. I'm going to say wrong OS. You can see again, when you run this code now, you will get the wrong OS error raised. It looks very similar to how it did before, only you notice that uh, because you defined it in this same script, you can see that it's part of the main namespace and you get the name of the exception and the message that you passed. So this is a way that you can raise your own exceptions in Python or built-in exceptions. Either way, you can do both of that with the race keyword. And this forces the exception to be raised and also terminates your program. Now, in the next lesson, you're going to see how you can use the assert keyword to do something similar, but with a slightly different approach.